working out has always been like a, a positive. I've always had a positive influence in my life, you know, and um, it just kind of makes me who I am. So, you know, just sometimes in life you get lost, you know, you get numb, and you want to do something to make you feel like, you know, you're alive. So I guess when, you know, I got with Gym Gang and to push this movement, especially for the young kids, you know, being a role model, you know, I wanted to, like, step into the unknown. And going against Iron Addicts was that unknown, you know? And just to be able to go against someone like C.T. Fletcher, which I, I kind of felt the connection with him, being because I kind of like the junkyard dog mentality. I didn't know much about him, but I just liked his attitude. So for me, it was like going up against the ultimate, you know, opponent. And it was a respect thing. And if I figured, like, I figured if I could get his respect, then that would have been worth it, you know, at, at any cost, you know? So that's why to me it was like war. It was like war and I treated it like war. And I prepared for it, you know, and I expect the unexpected. And I knew I had injuries because I got an injury to my knee. I blew my knee. I blew my elbow, but I didn't, I didn't you know, it didn't matter. You know, I was willing to, you know, I was willing to put it all on the line just to gain the respect of someone I figure is actually word having that, that you know someone to me i figure he's someone that i could earn his respect and it means something to me you know what i mean i don't know much about social media this is all new to me because a year ago i didn't even know what instagram was you know so i'm coming out of left field you know and i'm not up to date with too many things you know being in front of the camera is new but you know i'm just a real person like i don't try to be nothing i'm not so it's easy for me to eat what has a camera in my face or not to just speak how i speak and feel the way I feel and the people, some people like it, some people don't, you know? So to see C.T. Fletcher, you know, like, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna go up against him. And I didn't want to, you know, like, I personally felt like when I told Red, I didn't want to just get invited to Iron Addicts like everyone that comes on a Wednesday. I wanted to make noise, you know? I wanted him on his A game. And I think I brought that, I brought that out of him. And I guess that's why we sat down tonight and we broke bread. Yeah. I accept I did not turn down no challenges from nobody. I took any motherfucking body on the planet. I couldn't I couldn't get my shots. I couldn't get enough. We didn't have YouTube or none of that, no social media, none of that bullshit. When I set the world strip curl record, this is my girlfriend back here. <laughs> That I said that record. I said that record in front of my girlfriend. I didn't want to strain, but you know the ugly faces you make when, when you don't want to make me a girl. I'm trying to impress her. I said a record that lasted over 25 years, winking at her. I just did it because I wanted to, I wanted to impress her on the day. That's when I first I wanted to show her how strong I was. I knew my wrist was fucked up. So I'm taking all kinds of different medications. I, and I got on my knees and I prayed to the good Lord to just let me show up and do what I can do. Do the best I can do. Please, please. Because I'm, 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 I'm like you. It, it fucking tear me up. It would have torn me to pieces if I could not get in there. And, and do what I can do, perform. I ain't, I ain't gonna, I don't wanna win, lose, or whatever, but I just wanna be able to do what I know I can do. And that shit, eat, eat, but look. You can do everything you wanna do, I can do every fucking thing I wanna do. But what we did do, is we got in there, set an example for every motherfucking body that's watching, that when you're going to say you're going to do something, you show your fucking ass up, which is a big goddamn thing, and you do what the fuck you said you were going to do. I said I'm coming to CT for the house. I said I'm coming to compete. Probably. You did that. You did that. You came. You gave every fucking thing you got. You can't do no motherfucking board me. You did that. You, you boy, you better not be a sham or a hug. See, you did that, see. You better not hang your goddamn head down with nothing.
Yeah. These motherfuckers say whatever the fuck they want to, but they talk. You did that shit. It was a real battle. Wasn't no fake shit. I seen a whole lot of me in you. Thanks a lot. Appreciate that. And you know, I think that's what really got me. You know, the dude he talking a whole lot of shit. <laughs> I said listen. CT like you. And, and because listen, I'm the oldest here, right? But I said he liked you because of your number one, your energy. Yeah. And he must see something in you. They said, I'm gonna give these brothers a shot. You put it in the video so they understand what's what at the, at the end of the shit, they understand what's happening. Two headwood fighters went to war, they went to battle, and they tried to knock the shit out of right, each other for right. 15 rounds. In the old days, you go 15 right, right. 15. At the end of that shit, they hugging like a motherfucker. Right. That's what it is. For the last for the last time, we we wanna say this to the people, um we did this for y'all because we felt y'all deserve it. We felt y'all deserve entertainment for supporting both sides. I ain't addicts and gym gang. This was this is a peaceful event. There was never any animosity between both parties. We just did this for the love of the sport and we wanted y'all to have a good time. Hell yeah. And that's what it's all about. Bang bang. <laughs> <laughs> Bang, bang. <laughs>